Hello and welcome future Chippewa Valley parents. We thought we'd start this presentation by offering some tips to help your students successfully transition to high school. These include providing a loving environment where they can share any of their concerns with you, helping your students stay organized and providing a distraction-free place to study and do homework, setting clear limits and expectations and role modeling appropriate behaviors, discussing their four-year plan and what they hope to accomplish after high school, communicating regularly with your teachers and with the school, continue to provide healthy, nutritious meals encourage regular exercise and good sleep habits. Talk to them about the dangers of drug and alcohol use and excessive social media use. And lastly, encourage them to get involved in Chippewa Valley's many clubs, sports, and activities. The purpose of tonight is to introduce you to some of our staff you'll be seeing here next year at the Ninth Grade Center. Discuss graduation requirements, how we use NWEA data to place students in classes, how we schedule students and our course offerings, we'll review our attendance policy, go over some study skills and the help that's available, how to get involved in our athletics and clubs and organizations, how to communicate with us, and lastly, encourage you to visit our virtual curriculum fair. Pictured here is our campus principal, Mr. Todd Disselrath. Hello is Mr. Rob Williams, our ninth grade center principal. Also pictured is Mrs. Suzanne Van Opham. She's our ninth grade center assistant principal. On the bottom row are your three ninth grade center counselors. Mrs. Debbie Wall, C students, last names, A through KQ. I'm Mrs. Jennifer Frohawk, and I see students with last names, KR through R. Lastly, Mrs. Nadia Given sees students with last names beginning with the letters S through Z. Let's begin by discussing graduation requirements. The magic number to graduate a Chippewa Valley High School Diploma is 22. Those can't all be in the fun classes like gym and art. They have to be in the core classes as well. This includes four credits or four years worth of English, four credits of math, three credits of science and social studies, two full credits of world language, one credit in our visual performing or applied arts departments, one credit of physical education, a half a credit of health, and that leaves 3.5 credits for students to choose in the varying electives we offer to get you to the number of 22. You can also waive a half a credit of physical education in order to take a different elective by participating in two seasons of any MHSA, Chippewa Valley Athletics, or marching band. This is what a typical ninth grade schedule looks like. All freshman students take English, biology, a history, and a math class. Most freshman students will also take a half a year of gym and a half a year of health. That leaves one full hour's worth to select an elective, something from our music department like band or choir, a foreign language if they're a strong English student, or keyboarding or tech design. To see what a typical four-year plan would look like, you can refer to our online scheduling booklet on page four. The data team uses scores from NWEA along with students' eighth grade grades and teacher feedback to place students in all core classes. Students are pre-scheduled in these accelerated classes based on these scores, except for the AP World History, which does require an application. Previous recommended NWEA scores are listed below. Please email your counselor with any concerns that they may have regarding a course your daughter or son are placed in. We want students to be appropriately challenged, but also feel supported. So please, we are here to help. Let us know how we can do so. And always encourage your student to take the NWEA test seriously as we use those scores for placement purposes. We also offer support classes, math focus and English block. Students are pre-scheduled in these support classes if they scored in the 35th percentile or lower on their NWEA in math or ELA. The purpose of these classes is to develop strong basic skills that will last them throughout high school. You need four years of math to graduate, so we wanna correct any deficiencies they may have that ninth grade year 
so you can continue to pass algebra and all the following math courses. For our reading block, that is to increase their reading level to get them closer to reading to grade level and beyond. Reading is required in every subject, from a biology book to a history book, so it is imperative we correct and get at their reading level up to grade level. We know sometimes students are disappointed when they see these classes pre-scheduled. However, we encourage them to be thankful to have the support. And more often than not, students are very thankful to have it built into their schedule instead of trying to find outside tutoring. And as always, please talk to us if you have any questions regarding a placement your son or daughter may have. Advanced Placement World History, also known as AP World History, give students a chance to earn college credit. Students will be selected for this advanced course if they meet the following criteria. They must complete the AP World History application, which can be found at the following link and is also available on the CVHS ninth grade counseling website. Students must demonstrate strong academic achievement and also growth on the NWEA test with scores above grade level norm. Applications need to be submitted by March 12th. You can view the AP World History Teachers informational video that is available on the ninth grade counseling website to learn more about this course. Also, an additional 0.5 bump in the class grade will be awarded to students who take an AP class and pass the course. Electives. Art, we offer art foundations for 0.5 credit, which is an intro to drawing, painting, and ceramics. Ceramics 1 and Ceramics 2, which are pottery classes, are available for 0.5 credit each. Music classes are taught at the main building. We offer concert band, men's chorus, and treble chorus, which is women's choir. Each music class is a 1.0 credit. For world languages, we offer French, Spanish, or German, and each class is a 1.0 credit, and students must sign up for both a and B. For our career technical education classes, we offer keyboarding, which is a 0.5 credit, and technical design, which is a 1.0 credit. Students struggling in math and or reading will be placed in the math focus and or English 9 block class in place of their electives that they choose. Students receiving supportive learning classes will be scheduled by their case managers based on their IEP. Some additional electives available to ninth graders include theater arts, drawing and painting one, photography, sewing and design, nutrition, graphic design, graphics yearbook publication, and music seminar. Descriptions of these electives can be found on our website in the course booklet. These classes are not taught at the ninth grade center, so students will be traveling between the buildings. Many times students decide they don't like traveling and they're disappointed when it's too late to change their class. So please make sure you choose your electives carefully. Testing out is an opportunity for students to demonstrate competence in specific high school subject areas by taking an end of term exam for that specific high school subject area. Students must earn 78% or better on the comprehensive final exam in order to earn credit and be placed in the higher level course. Other materials may be required as well. Those interested should visit the Chippewa Valley Guidance website for more information. Forms accompanied by your four-year plan are due at the Community Education Office prior to April 30th when registration closes. Testing takes place in June of 2021. And if the student passes the exam, with a 78% or higher, their schedule will be changed to reflect the new class. Please note that credits earned through testing out may not be accepted by some colleges and universities. Attendance policy. Students will lose credit for a course if they exceed 10 absences in a semester. And this is including vacations and excused absences. Also, students will lose credit for a course if they exceed 10 tardies in a semester. If you have any questions regarding your student's attendance, 
You are welcome to call the attendance office at any time. Truancy will be filed in accordance with the law for any student not regularly attending school without a valid medical reason. By making your child's school attendance a priority, you will be taking an important step in supporting your child's school success and setting a good example. Transitioning into high school is a very exciting time for freshmen. We meet with our ninth graders in September to strongly encourage good study habits. We inform them that this is the beginning of their official high school transcript and also remind them that they must meet all the high school requirements in order to earn their high school diploma. If they fail a class, they're told they must repeat it. So we strongly encourage success the first time. A few tips we share with them is number one, is they should plan on studying one to two hours each night. Sometimes that means just studying about 20 minutes each subject. And when they do their homework, it should be in a place free of distraction, which means turning off the TV, shutting down the computers, and of course, turning off those phones. Helping your student get organized will be very beneficial. Having different colored folders and binders for each subject will help them stay organized with each class. They can use an agenda or even a simple notebook to write a to-do list so they always will make sure all their assignments are completed. Creating note cards has been a helpful tool to review class notes. Many of our teachers will create a free online note card quizzing tool called Quizlet that students really enjoy using. Many of our students have found they like creating their own Quizlets and even share them with their friends. A lot of times students ask us, how can I do better on tests? And we tell them that it's an ongoing process, which starts with paying attention in the classroom, taking good notes, reviewing every night. So when it comes the night before the test, it's really just putting it all together. There are many free online tutoring resources, which teachers will share with students specific to each of their subjects. One that we strongly encourage students to take advantage of is Khan Academy, because it has tutoring resources for every subject area. In addition, there is test prep for the standardized tests, such as the PSAT, the SAT, and the ACT. Studies have shown that test scores have increased tremendously for students who take the time to use Khan Academy for test preparation. And lastly, encourage your child to get good sleep, have a proper diet, and get a little exercise. They'll find that they'll be more energetic and be able to focus more when they're in the classroom. There's a lot of helpful information on the Chippewa Valley High School website. A few things we wanna point out today is one, the daily time schedule. Yes, we start school at 7.15 a.m., but the school day ends at 2.11 p.m. We do have two lunch hours. The students will either have an A lunch or C lunch, depending on their fourth hour teacher, which means they'll either eat lunch before their class or after their class. So they will find out their lunch hour on the first day of school. We also have many tutoring resources online. A few that I wanna point out is we have an after school free homework club. We have a National Honor Society students that will tutor because they're required to do service hours. So many will tutor for free until they reach their service hours and then they'll charge a small fee. And we also have other resources as far as a list of teachers in our district that will tutor for a fee. So we can provide that list to you if interested. Also on our website, you will find all the different clubs and organizations we have available. In addition, we have our athletic webpage. We would strongly encourage you to encourage your child to get involved in something. We truly feel there is something for every student. We find the students that get involved in school are more likely to do better academically. They have less behavior problems and overall just have a lot of fun in their four years. If you're interested in a fall sport, I would encourage you to look at our athletic website because there will be spring tryouts, um, summer camps, so you can get all that information. Lastly, I would encourage you to check out our Big Red Pride Matrix. This is a positive initiative that we've been um, instilling in our students to encourage positive behavior. And Pride stands for being prepared, being respectful, having integrity, being dedicated, and being engaged. And these are the five principles that we will be reviewing with the students throughout the year. Staying in touch is so important. I know many of you have set up your parent portal account in PowerSchool. 
If you haven't, I strongly encourage you to do so. It's a great way for you to stay up on your students' grades, check out their attendance. And the good news is if you have one that's that already created in the middle school, it will carry over into high school. So there's nothing that needs to be done. And if you're watching today and know you plan on enrolling your student in Chippewa, you will receive all that login and password information at the time of registration. We will continue sending school messengers out, which means we need to have accurate phone numbers and emails so you are getting the information that we will be forwarding. So if you ever change any of your contact information, please call our office so we have accurate information. Again, check out our school website. If you ever need to look up any important information or just wanna learn more, read our monthly newsletters. There's a lot of great information that is sent out monthly to give you up-to-date information there. And lastly, um, our report cards are still being emailed home. They are not sent home in a paper copy. So again, have your email up to date so you receive the quarterly report cards. And if you do not use email and prefer a paper copy, we can make arrangements for you to get that. Students will be selecting their classes the week of March 22nd through the 26th. So from this time to that time, we will encourage you to talk to your student about what elective choices they will like to choose. So over the next couple of weeks, Think about that carefully, because when the students go on into their student portal um, and click on the registration tab, they will select their electives at that time. They will also be viewing the four core subjects they were selected in and what level they're in. So at that time, they'll see that put in their classes. So all those instructions were given to the students um, if they're a hybrid, and we also have all the instructions on our website. It's a very few simple clicks um, that they will be able to do during that week when the windows open. So use these next couple weeks to discuss what electives they might want to do. And we really encourage you to choose those classes carefully um, because we do not make schedule changes in the fall. We begin building our master schedule now so we cannot make changes when the school year begins. Um, if you are watching and you plan to enroll your student at CV9 or looking to apply for school in choice, um, you can visit our Chippewa Valley District website and click on the enrollment tab and you will find all the criteria and be able to complete the application there. Again, as you're looking and researching what electives you would like your child to take, um, we encourage you to check out our Big Red Virtual Curriculum Fair. The link is on our high school webpage. Um, and when you go there, you will find various links to um, different programs and learn more about our curriculum. So even if you just want to take some time to browse through that to kind of plan the next four years, I encourage you to do so. As you are going through this process, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Um, you can reach out to the assigned counselor based on the last name of your student. Um, these are the current caseloads that we are using. They may change slightly in the fall. Um, but use these for the time being. But we really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. And we look forward to seeing you and meeting all the future Big Reds at the Chippewa Valley Ninth Grade Center.